guys, I just got my biggest Walmart grocery order yet. And I thought while I'm putting it away, I might as well show you what's inside. Um, this is like COVID edition. So we have panko breadcrumbs. I tried to get the smallest portion available, so that's what I got. I have pickles, and I wanted dill pickles, but they sent me these garlic ones, and they're great value, but um, that sounds fine. Oh, well, look, they put substitution. That's okay. We'll go with it. I see a substitution that I don't think I'm that pleased with, but take it as it comes. This is bathroom cleaner, guys. I'm on a witch hunt for daily shower cleaner. So we got this. I'm going to contact them about it. They're really good with customer service. So I will see what goes on. Okay. This says fragile. And after I received a pack of eggs from them where about like 40% of the eggs were broken, I'm quite pleased. Okay. Look, only one of them has gotten squashed and it might be my fault. These are eggs to go. They're a pack of six and it was under $3. Um, so I'm really excited to try these and best before, oh my God, January, January 20, January 6th, eat within four days after opening. That is great though, four days. Six eggs in four days, wow. Hop to it. Okay, so I was expecting the expiry date to be like on Tuesday. Okay, so then we got frozen orange juice. Good for recipes, good just to have on hand if you don't have any OJ fresh. We got extra crispy super fries. I love a good side of fries with dinner sometimes. And we got sweet potato fries, my fave. What's in here? Oh, another substitution that I'm quite pissed about. It's fine. <laughs> I have cookie dough. Um, the only good part about this is that you could actually eat it. So maybe we'll try that one day. I wanted Christmas cookies. How could they not have got me Christmas? Oh, they might be sold out. That might be it. So the problem is you order stuff on the website and then it just depends what they have in the store that they're shopping at. So whatever. Okay, so then I got this um, Black Forest smoked ham. I actually want that for like breakfast or oh my gosh, I want to do um, grilled cheese on Sunday. Which brings me to my next one, marble cheese and slices because I cannot be bothered to slice stuff because my fingers will usually go with the cheese when I slice stuff. So country biscuits, this was Joseph's request, not mine. We'll see how those taste. Um, I try to avoid getting like uh, preservative packed things like that because they usually taste great and then I can't stop thinking about them But we'll we'll have a little sin with the uh, Pillsbury What are these again? Biscuits Tzatziki my new fave thing. It is just delicious for carrots and everything got another simply orange juice the best again under three dollars I think for that orange juice which is a really good price in my opinion we got some ground turkey. I love making ground turkey tacos, so that is a must. What's in here, guys? We went ham. Ooh, Twizzler gummies. And I got um, corn tortillas for my turkey tacos. And the corn ones seem to last a lot longer. Mm. The best crackers ever, toppables And celebration milk chocolate fingers. These were under $2. Um, that's a gift for Joe. Hey guys, oh my God, I really didn't want these. They got me two of these freaking waffles. I wanted the Belgian waffles and they didn't get them for me. So I'm quite disappointed. So anyways, the joys of shopping. Bagels, sesame, two Italian breads. Oh my God, they're massive. Oh, that was a mistake. Well. My freezer will be literally filled with bread. Oh my God, that was such a mistake. I thought they were gonna be like little buns. Oh, it's fine. I'll drown, drown my sorrows in crumpets because those make everything better. Oh my God, I can't believe I got that giant bread. One's going to my mom. I've decided. Okay, so we got some raspberries. Are they good? They are great. Under $2, praise the Lord. We got two zucchinis. Those are the world's smallest zucchinis, wow should have gotten four. And we have our favorite salad. Oh, it's looking fresh. Thank the Jesus. We got our sweet kale superfood salad. That was actually a great price too. Three, three dollars or something? There it is. Perfect size bag. God bless. One thing I did right. Oh, something's wet. Oh, it's the carrots. I think we're fine. Holy crap. This is the biggest press and seal. You're welcome, mom. This is massive. Ah, thank God it's not staying here. We got some feminine wipes. God bless hygiene. We got some 
Sparkling water. Hello. Something that tastes like or feels like pop that doesn't taste like it. For those days when you just need to chug something fizzy. Mm. Gummy worms and real fruit gummies, guys. I have to tell you, I ended up just with three gummies, but I started off with like eight packs in my cart. These were good. These were like a dollar or $1.50 or something, and these are new. Um, Twizzler gummies that I think have like juice on the inside or something, so gummies galore. That is everything. It was about 100 bucks. I think it came to just under 100 and it's going to keep us going for quite some time. After this haul, I made two more orders. So right after Christmas, I purchased Great Value Medium Salsa, Pillsbury Pie Crust, which we used for a tortier. It was amazing. A large roll of polenta, which I'm excited to pair with either sausage or roast. I have some celery, tzatziki. Ah, oh, dipping the celery in the tzatziki. Favorite snack. Some old Dutch uh, ringlows, eyebrow stencil kit from e.l.f. for my Look Good Feel Better workshops where we help women going through cancer treatment do their makeup. So I think these stencils will be a great reco for them. I have some hard bite salt and vinegar chips, whole cloves, which I have too many of, but I use those for a tortilla as well and can use them in my mulled wine. We have hint of lime tortilla chips from Tostitos, the best. Tomato paste, just good for a bunch of recipes and sauces. My Aero mint chocolate bar, I ordered the dark and we got the regular one, but no big deal. That was for Joseph's stocking. I got black pepper and lime kettle chips, so freaking good. Maybelline New York Hyper Easy Liquid Liner, check out a recent makeup haul for reviews on that. My trolley uh, gummies again, ugh, they were so good I had to repurchase and under $2. And then great value medium couscous and some ginger beer for Moscow. I've honestly been so happy with all of my Walmart grocery orders. So I made another one on January 5th and it was great. Love that it's just a one-stop shop. So I started off with some flaked white albacore tuna. This is like three times as much as the regular one. So I hope it tastes great. I did get the cloverleaf skipjack regular tuna in water. Uh, we tried this one and it is really great the great value daily shower cleaner it arrived you guys oh i'm so happy i ended up getting another one from the attitude brand via well.ca and it was twice as much but has been working well for us so regardless i'm excited to try this great value one hellman's olive oil mayonnaise this is one of my favorites i love how it tastes I also have a uh, great value mozzarella sticks with jalapeno peppers. This was like a random thing I added at the very last minute and it's just gonna be fun for like a Friday night, crack a beer, have some mozzarella sticks. Uh, we're excited to do that. We've actually been really good at having date nights and like really just chatting, having fun, me and my fiance. So mozzarella sticks are a definite conversation starter. Catelli Classic Stars Pasta. I made some vegetable broth myself using like vegetable scraps and I'm excited to make homemade soup with these little pastas in it. Minced garlic, my favorite. It's really affordable on Walmart as is everything else. So got one of those. I actually get the smaller jar just so that my fridge is not filled with massive Costco sized jars. Finish jet dry. This rinse aid really works at keeping things spot free. So stocked up on the big size of that. Craft dinner spicy cheddar. Oh my god, I can't wait to try this. And Joe was like, ooh, the box even looks nice. So um, we are super stoked about that. I got Newman's own Italian salad dressing. Um, a bit pricey, I guess, at almost $4. But this was great because all the profits go to charity. So I'm excited to try it. And it just sounded like a nice blend of like Italian herbs. We have cucumber to have with... Um, cream cheese bagels, limes for tacos that I want to make, summer fresh pasta. It's the Italian pasta salad, $7 and the container is massive. So that will definitely be at least two lunches for us. I have another tzatziki because it is my fave and this summer fresh is fantastic. The romaine lettuce, this turned out to be really nice and quite crisp and fresh and just like a gigantic head of lettuce. So under $3, can't go wrong. Great value um, taco seasoning. It's the low sodium. This is great to mix with my ground turkey for turkey taco night. We have the kale vegetable salad kit. This is like their superfood blend. 
just fantastic four dollars such a delicious dinner we actually like to put the tuna inside this vegetable salad so that's an amazing thing to always have on hand just note that these do go bad really fast some genoa salami i got this fancier kind for six dollars and then i got a different one you'll see down the line here for three dollars so i'm just trying to test those out so far it does look like the marcangelo one is a bit thinner we'll see how it tastes another tuna but this is the great value brand so it's only a buck uh we'll see how that tastes I don't think it's as like ethically caught so or sustainably caught i should say so um tbd i got whipped cream cheese oh this is such a luxury for me loved the whipped and i got some montreal style bagels at bagel house so can't wait to pair those together with those cucumbers we got some italian buns i think it's six buns for three dollars amazing they taste great pretty big actually too so if you saw the earlier uh, clip where i got those gigantic italian loaves of bread this is what i was trying to achieve little buns for lunch so we have this chopped sunflower salad again something that just looked delicious so easy and my goodness the cabbage in here looks so fresh so again great price and i'm excited to actually put this on our fish tacos um, I hate cutting up cabbage and stuff. So this is the perfect blend. I got peach tea in juice boxes. Joe's making his lunch. Actually, I make it, but he's bringing lunch to work. So um, we're putting little juice boxes in there. It's the little things in life, people. I got my salami hummus with pretzel crackers. Another great thing to pop into a lunch. I also have craft Singles. Um, terrible for you, but the best in my breakfast sandwiches. We have veggie falafels. Those go in the freezer. I'm just stoked to have like a veggie chickpea option. Um, I love falafels. They're a great snack. They're good cold. So that would actually be a nice thing to bring for lunch as well. Probably the most exciting thing I bought is this uh, Arizona green tea juice box. Oh, they're so cute. I had one today. They're so delicious. A little bit bigger actually than your typical juice box. I think there's eight of them in the pack. Oh my God, they're so good. So that was great $3. I'm disappointed that my hot Genoa salami was substituted for this um, regular one. No big deal. Um, I did want to mention though that if you put things in your order, if you modify it after placing, which is possible to do until the day before, you can't uncheck substitution for those items. So these things I added after the fact, like after placing the order, in between when it was delivered um so i would have unchecked uh substitution so regardless i'm happy with these options i also got this habanero hot sauce it was substituted for the jalapeno hot sauce both from the same great value line no big deal but i did want the jalapeno one for a fish taco recipe um so whatever i'll just use this habanero one and have you know slightly different flavor sad sad time that my two unavailable items this basa filet, I don't think I included this in my screenshot here, but my fish, my basa filets did not get included because it was unavailable and no substitution. And my eggs to go, oh, my, my hard boiled eggs were also not included. These were again under $3. We really liked them the first time around, um, but I guess they weren't in stock. So I will just have to make my own boiled eggs, but um, we'll see how that goes. I'll try to definitely add those into my next order though. Hope you enjoyed. This is the haul. Let me know what you buy from Walmart. I need to try. Um, my friend Sylvie sent me her code for um, Instacart. So I think I'm going to try that next. I just have the app and it's so easy to throw in everything under the sun for Walmart. But um, I'll definitely try and do maybe like PC or something next time. But this was decently successful. Only a few little things that I'm kind of bummed about. But here we go. Happy weekend. Thanks for watching you guys and subscribe, like, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.